Hi there, I'm Professor Alain Deidun from the University of Malta, coordinator of the Corallo project. When I first thought of the Corallo project over three years ago, this is what I had in mind of bringing this beautiful blue space, the sea lapping our shores in the Maltese islands and the Mediterranean into the lives of each one of us, of actually inspiring and exciting people about the hidden gems which lie beneath the waves. By doing this, by exciting people about the sea and about the importance that the ocean plays into the lives of each one of us, we would be achieving a noble goal, that of fostering a new generation of ocean literate citizens who know the importance of conserving our seas for future generations, but also for achieving the goals of the United Nations Ocean Sciences Decade 2021-2030. So please, join me and all the other Corallo partners on this interesting adventure that is the Corallo project. My name is Henry Copperstone. I uh, organize stand-up paddle tours around the coast during the summer months. And in my spare time, I do a lot of free diving. Well, living in Malta, being an island, we are surrounded by the sea. I've um, been involved with the sea all my life. From when I was young, my father used to go fishing a lot. I used to go fishing with him. I was always intrigued with the sea, you know, and as I grew up, I took further interest in the sea, either fishing myself, and I started doing my stand-up paddle tours, windsurfing, anything to do with the sea made me happy. That was it. I have been setting an example to my customers rather than telling them what they should do. I always pick up the garbage myself, any plastic we see along the way, we pick it up, we go on the beach, and we try to take back at least one or two bags discarded plastic with us every time. I found it's a very powerful way to, to create this awareness amongst my customers at least. I also do free diving and uh, I use that also to create an awareness of the beautiful seas that we have. You know, I document every single dive I do and I'm posting this on social media. People need to see more what's happening underneath the water. Most people go to the sea, they just see the blue surface. Nobody knows what's underneath. You need people like us that have a duty, I feel, not to just appreciate for ourselves, but to share that appreciation to other people. I'm Nikki. Um, I am a two-time swimming Olympian. I am a nurse by profession. I don't practice right now, but I have my own um, swimming club. I teach a lot of people and children how to swim. Um, I'm, an, uh, I'm a free dive instructor at uh, Inner Dive. The love that I had growing up for the sea kind of transferred into all that knowledge and appreciation of what the sea actually offers us and how heavily we rely on it. With social media, so many people are desensitized with the amount of um, information and horrible images that we've seen in the last couple of years. I really do think that promoting um, the beauty of our seas does instill much more hope than, than the fear of the damage that we've created. People tend to give up when they see these kind of images. And speaking for myself, I'd rather see um, a beautiful image and that, that provides me with hope and the energy to continue rather than a, a terrible image that makes me want to, you know, just, just give up.
I am Mar Pach. I come from the island of Gozo. Um, so I was always brought up in nature. Uh, wherever I went in Gozo, in my home island, uh, I had nature always around me. I spent most of my time in a little village called Marsalfon, and uh, that's where I brought out my love for the sea. These days I do cleanups all around the island once a week and I take volunteers with me to be included in this experience and to learn more about what is needed to better the environment. We must continue the education with the children, with the young children. Um, like I've seen when I've visited uh, a couple of uh, schools, they, they are aware, they love the environment, they want to do good for the environment. And we should take them to maritime museums, which promote sustainability and uh, show the truth of what, what uh, lies beneath our beautiful waves. We must take care of it because it's, uh, it's going down too fast. So we must cut down on the plastic. Welcome to my studio. <laughs> I'm John Borge and I'm an underwater photographer. <laughs> the sea is where I managed to disconnect. The sea is where I solve all my problems and the spin the sea is what makes me smile. There's a lot of things you can do. I mean, promoting cleanups, getting people more involved in them so that they can know what's going on, that there's a lot of problems under the sea that needs a, a lot of our help. Getting into scuba diving is also a very good way of understanding what there is underneath and also not just people describing. Take photo photos, take videos, and it's, it, it can't, you can't have a better description than that, than a photo or a video. So yeah, I would push on these things and push them onto social media. Welcome on board uh, Eco Marine Malta boat. Uh, so we are going out uh, to see if uh, we can find dolphins uh, uh, in places where usually there are uh, fishing activities that can be fish farms or also uh, uh, where fishing boats uh, they usually go. Here in Malta he founded a company named uh, Ecomarine Malta and uh, we do sustainable boat tour. Uh, I am a marine biologist, so we have uh, people on board. And during our tour, we explain people uh, the ecology and biology of uh, the dolphins, especially the bottlenose dolphin. That is the species that we are studying as a company. I strongly believe that the education is the base uh, of uh, the respect on the, and the conservation. So I think that uh, all the uh, organizations, uh, social enterprises, enterprises, universities, uh, teachers have to work together to create uh, a, um, an educational plan uh, to help people understand why so we, we need uh, to protect the environment. Enough clothes by hearing, but I can't see them. 